What's going down, fight fans? This is Spaniard Northwest Fight Scene. I'm sitting here with Budo Fights champion, Lightning Liz McCarthy, Rise Above Fighter. She's defending her title this week at Budo Fights 5 in Bend, Oregon. She's fighting TKO fighter Sarah Lagerstrom. Sarah Lagerstrom is going to try to take the title, but I don't think Liz is ready for that. Liz, talk about your what getting ready and preparing for your first ever title defense. You know, we definitely stepped up the training a little bit. We're taking it really seriously at this point because the way that my coach sees it, if I have a title and I'm going to defend it, that I better, better be training as hard as I can. I have to be training harder than all the other girls that want the title. So um, training in practice, um, anywhere between four and six days a week, two hours minimum, sometimes four hours or more at a time, and then lifting and doing cardio um, on my own as well. So it's a lot, a lot of working. Now, um, how much do you know about your opponent coming into this fight? Um, you know, I, from what I've heard, she has been trading for a couple of years as well. So she's, she's got about as much experience as I do. Um, I've heard that she's more of a Muay Thai fighter, so she likes to stand. So I'm kind of excited to get to stand and bang a little bit with her. Um, she may not have as, as much ground as I do, but you know, it's, it's hard to tell because the fights that I've seen her in, she hasn't really gone to the ground. I've mostly just seen her stand, so it, it should be a good fight. Now, um, you train at Rise Above uh, with Glenna, Via, Emily. Uh, now, there's talk that Maylees came to your camp. Um, now, now, what's it like to have such a good, stout, you know, teammates like that in, in girl form? It's definitely a big advantage. I've talked to a lot of other girls that train on other teams where they're the only girl, or maybe there's another girl that trains, but not really as seriously and doesn't want to fight. Um, and it, it can be challenging because I've definitely in the past, um, I've been training for a little over two years now. And I've we've had you know bouts at the gym where there haven't been other girls coming in as consistently. And it's difficult to train with guys that are that much bigger than you, um, just because they have to be careful with where they put their weight and, and things like that. And um, they are never gonna go 100%, whereas a girl your own size, you know, you feel like you can go 100% and they can go 100% and it's a little bit safer. So it, it, it's definitely an advantage and it's, it's a lot more realistic in practice too. Now, um, I met you after work. You're still holding down a job while you're training. Um, talk about how yep. hard that is to have to work full time, train full time and st being a champion. It's, it's tough, it's pretty exhausting. Um, I work full time and then um, train, you know, uh, at least usually five or six days a week um, and then it's like on my days off I go into practice and then the rest of the day is, is spent at the gym um, running, lifting weights, um, drilling, watching videos so it's a lot of work. Wow so it's an exhausted champion well hey you, you definitely are ready going into this fight um, anybody you'd like to thank? Uh, definitely I would love to thank uh, my main sponsor Tussle Fight Gear and Slate Bittler um, they're awesome. Slade always hooks me up with clothing. Um, he's really supportive. Always come to watch, comes to watch all my fights. Um, and then my coaches and all my team man team members at Rise Above MMA. Um, and then also all the guys down at Max Muscle for helping me out with some of my supplements and vitamins. Now um, you fought for Budo um, in that. What's it like to fight in the Midtown in there for the fans there? I love fighting at Budo fights. Um, it actually, I really enjoy that show. I have a lot of friends out in Redmond, so it's kind of exciting for them because Ben is pretty close to there. So when I get to go there and fight, it's not as far. They can come in and and watch me fight and be really supportive and. Um, the promoter there, Derek, is a really great guy. He, he's always really helpful. So I really like that promotion. And then Paul's going to be streaming it. The owner, they're streaming it, right? Yeah, so if you can't make it, they're streaming mm -hmm. it? Yes, they're streaming it live on BuddhaFights.com, um, which is always nice for all my friends here in Portland that can't make it out to Ben because they can still watch too. Awesome. Well, hey, I take, thank you very much for taking the time to talk with Northwest Fight Scene, and good luck on your fight coming up. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for letting me do the interview. Awesome. Have a Thank you.